And here we go. The EW reveal stream today did reveal the new map, which is, of course, as most of you guys guessed, gonna be in Mexico. The map itself is gonna be three different biomes. We're gonna have nine species on the map. And we're gonna take a look at, um, well, what we did get to see in the stream, as well as the trailer for the reserve itself. There is currently no release date, and um, I guess the price is gonna be the same as all the other maps, so um, do yourself a favor and check up on that before asking. But let's just get into it. This is the lodge where you start, on, uh, start off at, and this is Stables. Which they made a clear point out of, we're not getting horses. And the big species included in this new map for me is obviously gonna be the pheasant. The ring-necked pheasants has made his entry into Call of the Wild and they look gorgeous. They look super good. It actually does look to be a lot of fun to hunt them as well. And you actually need to be shooting them in the air because you're apparently going to get no score if you pick them off the ground. So uh, probably the animal that I am most excited for. I have been calling for this animal for years and um, I can only hope that they actually take their time to uh, at some point add it to Hirschfelden as well. Of other species on the map we of course have the white tail which was shown in the uh, reveal trailer and um, we also have the rio grande turkey we have the antelope jackrabbit we have the colored peccary which some people also call a javelina we have a mexican bobcat coyote bighorn sheep and mule deer and as i said we also have a new shotgun a 16 gauge kuzel model 1897 Rantiero is the one that uh, our uh, community manager here is running around with. But let's just take a qu little quick closer look at this pheasant with the uh, community managers. And they look amazing. They have really outdone themselves with this. I am super, super impressed. Um, I can't wait to actually get out and try to, to hunt these. I've been wanting this since early days. And as always, this is on the dev based build as well so there was a little bit of box and such to be expected but in general it actually does look to be pretty good except for maybe the uh, scoring of the pheasants can be a little bit jacked because uh, well first pheasant we picked up was a uh, diamond and later in the stream a level three was actually shot that didn't make diamond but it is what it is i'm sure they're gonna get that fixed before release but they look so good. And as I said, if you shoot them when you, they're on the ground, it's actually going to say they're grounded and they will not have a valid score. So that is cool. I'm very happy to see that. Actually having to hunt them the right way. And as the, they said, they were only going to be revealing half of the map kind of today. And there is going to be three different biomes. There is going to be a hilly one. There's going to be a tropical one. And there's going to be a desert one. And uh, obviously right here we got some white tails to look at as well. So they are definitely on the map. And you can actually see here the left side is the desert side. The middle is the tropical. And the right one is the very hilly slash mountainous side. And uh, yeah, that does seem to be pretty nice. We did get to see the antelope jackrabbit as well, and this is the model for it. And holy those ears! Dang. Um, <laughs> I, I think that is definitely going to be an interesting one to run around and hunt. But I do fear it is just going to be the uh, 22 lr long shot taking them down for the most part. As, yeah, everybody is probably going to be carrying that one around as well, I would imagine. And here we yeah, have the out. new turkey! I think uh -huh. buff. I there should be a difference. They told us that there was going to be a difference. Um, I think there's something with the head that this one has a lot more blue in it. But the easiest way to tell them apart would be to place it in your lodge and take a closer look at them. But uh, this is the Rio Grande Turkey. And uh, yeah, I mean, Turkey on this map, uh, it's definitely going to be a map with a lot smaller game animals on we did get to see what the lookout points looks like as well and uh, yeah they're tall but uh, it looks pretty decent <laughs> and uh, it is a very hilly part of this area but they then went to the desert and this is obviously the desert one the uh 
desert with a lot of cactus and they are actually gonna hurt you if you run into any of the big ones you will take damage and they will even damage your quad as well but uh, this definitely does look to be a very interesting area to hunt one well, thing that I, I don't know how it's all gonna work because there doesn't look to be a lot of open area in this part and with all of the animals basically being pretty small this could be a really tough area to hunt so it is something about scouting the hillsides and such to actually make it something viable I think but uh, there you go you take damage and here we go the colored peccary and um, yeah very small little not pig for whatever reason and uh, they actually look really fun it is a class 4 animal which um, is quite surprising but I suppose it's because they're very aggressive or something I am not sure there's got to be something to it because they seem to be very small at least this one was a class 3 so it's not very big at least and before we get to take a look at the trailer let's just take a little closer look at this little guy right here this I have never seen them before I don't know what they're supposed to look like how do I feel about the map in general I'm I don't know. <laughs> it's leaving me in a little weird place because the biggest animal on the map is the mule deer. And one of the things that kind of got me not too excited about Tavaroa in the back, uh, back when that was released, was the fact that there was just no big game. The red deer was the biggest and here is going to be the mule deer, which is even smaller. So uh, for me, the pheasant hunting has to be super, super fun for it to really get a good home run. But uh, let's take a look at the trailer. <laughs> Out here, it's easy to lose your way. There's nothing to guide you but the sun and your own instincts. Survival is never a guarantee. And only the shifting sands bury those who didn't make it. This is Baquero country. Generations of cowboys have eked out a living on this land through revolution, war, and everything in between. If you're brave enough to strap a gun to your back and follow them, you might be surprised how alive everything is. Maybe you'll spot a collared peccary scurrying through the brushy hills, or track a prize-winning whitetail from the woodlands to the desert. You could hunker down and watch the elusive Mexican bobcat stalk antelope jackrabbits. Or why not meet our newest addition? But be warned, the ring-necked pheasant's no ordinary avian. You've gotta make this bird use its wings. It's time for things to change. Either we keep on living as our forefathers did and lose our arroyo, the lifeblood of this bare earth, or we dare to carve our own path forward. If you can rise to the challenge, Rancho del Arroyo is ready for you. And that is it. <laughs> kind of unfortunate that they used the worst possible mule deer wreck in the game to show off in the trailer. But in general, it looks really good. I, I think the uh, Mexican bobcat looks really, really cute. The um, colored peccary, I think it's going to be an interesting thing to hunt. They, um, I, I'm not sure if they are going to be aggressive. Because according to you guys, they should be quite aggressive. Obviously, it's going to be another map where we have the white tail and could possibly end up getting the great one off of this map so that would definitely be a thing it also looks like there is going to be interaction between the bobcat and the jackrabbit at least but where does this leave me with the feeling of this map i think what really needs to happen is the uh, pheasant hunting has to be really fun for it to be a good map in a, on a scale from one to ten i'm probably sat at around a five possibly able to go up to a six depending on the bug fixes because the biggest thing for me next to the pheasants is actually going to be the amount of box and the fixes coming out with this map as well so if everything goes well i'm probably going to be at a six but let me know in the comments where you guys are at thank you so very much for watching